Hi, my name is Brandy Miller and this is Torch Talk and today we have with us Miss Sherry Dunn Ramsey. Hey Sherry, how are you? Good, how are you Brandy? I'm good. So tell us about yourself and what you do here at Richmond CC. Uh, well, my name is Sherry Dunn Ramsey and I'm the Vice President for Student Services at Richmond Community College. Can you explain to us what exactly is Student Services and how does it serve the students? Well, student services encompasses a lot of different departments. Um, we have admissions, registration, testing, um, financial aid, counseling, and career and transfer advising center, in addition to the front desk reception. And uh, also, it also includes marketing and institutional effectiveness and institutional research. Okay. So... Could you tell us what the registration process is like here? You know, what do students need to bring when they're registering for classes? Should they make an appointment with an advisor? Um, well, the registration process is different depending upon whether they're going to be taking a curriculum class or a continuing education class. Um, curriculum classes go through the application process, which is a free application you can do from our website. and they would be assigned an advisor. They have a program of study, usually it leads to a certificate, degree, or diploma. And um, they're done in semester-based uh, classes. The registration process for that, they have to send in their high school transcripts or completion of their high school equivalency transcripts and uh, meet with an admissions rep to be placed in a program of study and register for classes for the upcoming semester. Uh, if they're going to take a continuing education class, those start at all different times throughout the year, and each uh, continuing education class may have different requirements based on um, that particular class. Some may require a high school diploma, some may require a certain test score, um, others you just pay your fee and attend. So it just really depends on that particular class, but anyone in the Career and Transfer Advising Center can assist someone with registering for our classes, whether it's curriculum um, or a continuing education class. Okay, thank you for letting us know that. Um, so how do students apply for financial aid? Like what would happen if a student didn't receive financial aid? And are there other ways to pay for college without them having to pay out of pocket? Well, first off, Richmond Community College is very affordable, and most of our students uh, do not pay 100% of what it costs even to attend Richmond Community College. Applying for financial aid is free through uh, the federal government studentaid.gov, and that's where they complete a free application for federal student aid. We encourage everyone to complete a FAFSA, uh, which is a free application for federal student aid, even if they feel like their family makes too much money because the FAFSA opens up doors to other avenues of financial assistance. For example, um, institutional scholarships, state awards, uh, grants, things like that. Um, also, uh, if we have students who don't qualify for federal funding and they make too much money because they're working or their parents are working, um, and they are in good standing with us, they haven't withdrawn from classes, that type of thing, then they could qualify for the Working Student Scholarship where we help cost share the price of their education. Can you tell, elaborate what is the Working Student Scholarship? Just a little bit. So the Working Student Scholarship is funded by our foundation. They do two big fundraisers a year. They do the clay shoot in the fall and the gala in the spring. And, um, Basically, it just helps students who's, who don't qualify for other assistance um, be able to afford college. And there are requirements, like they need to be at least six credit hours. Um, they can't have withdrawn from classes previously. They need to be in good academic standing, that type of thing. But we have been able to help so many students with the working scholarship. Um, this year alone, I think we have um, assisted with like over $100,000 in working student scholarship money, which is why it's so important to support the college with the fundraising efforts, because that goes directly to students and their families. Okay. 
So Rich and CC has a career and transfer advising center. Can you tell us what that pretty much consists of? So the career and transfer advising center um, consists of advisors, right? Mm -hmm. um, because everyone who comes through Richmond Community College, whether they're coming in for just one class or continuing education, or they're here for a degree that's going to transfer on someplace else, needs some type of career and transfer advising assistance because we want people to eventually get jobs or help improve their job standing or transfer to someone else. So the advisors in the Career and Transfer Advising Center are equipped with knowledge on how to help students not just apply for Richmond Community College, but what classes they need to take to get to the careers that they want and if they're planning on going on further from Richmond Community College, which schools would be best fit for those students, and um, depending on what program or career they want to do, and then what classes they need to take while they're here so they get more bang for their buck at their next do at their next place, because we don't want people to waste their time and money um, coming here um, to take classes whenever it may not transfer over to someplace else, if that's what their ultimate goal is. And you said that they do like job resumes and they can help you with stuff like that. Yeah, we, uh, we have job fairs throughout the year. We have college fairs. They can help students um, create their resume and we help community members too. You don't have to be a student or an alumni of Richmond Community College to receive that assistance. And we help um, connect them with employers as well. We have several avenues for students to um, make connections with employers. We have our Handshake app, which is something that we are doing um, to connect students with employers. They can apply for jobs directly online. They can reach out to alumni who work at um, different employers to see what's going on. We have the career fairs throughout the year. We have employers who directly contact us looking for specific students or people from from specific fields. Um, so there's we are a, a, a broker of careers as well. And like I said, we don't have to um, help just because you're a student or an alumni. We help community members as well who have not taken any classes here. Okay, so with Richmond CC having two campuses, one here in Hamlet and one in Laurenburg uh, and the Robinette building, actually, you know, do they offer the same services just like what we have here in Hamlet? Uh, for student services, the Laurenburg campus um, and the Hamlet campus both have uh, career and transfer advisors. They both have counselors. Um, they both have um, someone who helps with financial aid. Um, admissions is all done in one location here on the main campus, but most things are done electronically anymore, so um, they can be serviced at the same time. But there are people in counseling admissions or advising and in financial aid at both the Laurenburg campus and the Hamlet campus. The Robinette is a building that services um, business programs, accounting, uh, healthcare management, um, surgical tech program is there, uh, some adult education programs. So we don't have the same services because it's not a campus, it's a building. Uh, but our staff will go to the Robinette building if a student needs something and they can't travel to one of the other campuses, we can go to the Robinette and meet with them. Okay. So with everything being said, is there any additional information that you would like to provide to let people know, you know, whether it be about student services or just anything related to the college? Um, well, I'd like to let everybody know the emphasis that we're placing on career planning. Um, we are asking every student when they come through the door, what do you want to be? Because we want to make sure that students are on the pathway to the careers that they want. And we also have um, assessments that we can help them uh, if they don't know what they want to be. Uh, we are equipped with that. Actually, it's free on our website. Anyone can take our career coach assessment on our website to figure out what they might want to be uh, because it's important that um, students have a goal in mind um, that way we can assist them the best way we can to get whatever it is that they need to do 
And it also helps open up that conversation. Uh, what do they need in order to get that career? Do they need just a one class credential? Do they need to have multiple degrees? Um, there's lots of ways to have a career that you want and we wanna make sure that we can help students get wherever it is that they wanna go. And careers can be evolving. So students may start in one program and decide they really like school and decide that they wanna go further. We can help as your career evolves as well. And we are working really hard. We've made a commitment to not just assist with careers, but um, student services will be holding workshops all throughout the year for mental health workshops, career workshops, um, financial literacy workshops, um, so that we can help students and they're open to the community um, with, with different um, items that they may need assistance with. And those are all free. Yeah, we have a lot of great services here. We have a lot of great services. Richmond Community College is an economic engine for the local community, and we take that part of our mission seriously. And so we want to make sure that every student is equipped with what they need to have a better quality of life and help support their family. Well, Sherry, thank you so much for taking time out your busy schedule to come do Torch Talk with me. Anytime, Brandy. Well, that's all I have for today. My name is Brandy Miller, and this is Torch Talk.